What's up, friends? It's time. It is time to set up my... Oh, hold on. Gotta, I gotta say my spiel. What's up, guys? What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans, and today we are setting up my 2022 Franken Planner that is for social media content, tracking, business, goals, dreams, basically all the things in 2022 that have to do with what the heck I'm doing with my life. It's the it's my what am I doing with my life planner journal all in one. It will be a Franken planner. So I'm going to be grabbing from different planners and notebooks and whatnot to customize a system for me. I feel like I need to throw out a disclaimer that you do not have to do this. This is extra and over the top because I'm a little extra <laughs> and over the top. Um, a lot of the products that I am using today, I purchased myself. I am an avid bargain shopper. I do not pay, I do not pay full price if I can avoid it. Um, and so some of the stuff I have purchased and some of it was sent to me from the Happy Planner because I am a member of the Happy Planner squad. So uh, just know that if you don't have all of these things, it doesn't, you know, it has nothing to do with your value or your planner and whether or not your system will work for you. Find a system that works for you. That's what I'm on the same journey as you guys. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what works for me. And I've got, you know, options to choose from to kind of customize my planner. And so that's what we're going to do today. So I need to quit my yammering and uh, start assembling my what is Elizabeth doing with her life planner? for 2022. So the base of this planner is going to be this happy plans and notes from the happy planner. I think this thing is gorgeous. And the cover says never give up on, give up on your dreams. And I just feel like that's a mood. That is uh, a mood for 2022 slash all the time. And yeah, I'm going to go with this cover and these discs. I'm going to leave everything as is I never do that. I always immediately put on metal discs and immediately put on a deluxe snapping cover, a vegan leather cover, a soft cover. I, I always kind of move everything um, into something more like luxe and like really sturdy and beefy and meaty. But I think I think I want to stick with this for now. Don't hold me to it. Maybe in a month you'll see discs that are different and maybe I'll put a deluxe cover over this. But for now, we're going to leave this as is. This is the base, okay? So the happy plans and notes, I've already labeled these tabs here. So we'll get to that in a second. The happy plans and notes is different in that it is, just as it sounds, it's a planner and a notebook in one. And the way that they've done that is at the front here, so you got a bunch of stickers for labeling your monthlies. Then this whole first section is monthly pages. It's a monthly layout. There are no divider tabs on the side. And it's really set up, honestly, to make a pretty good disc bound bullet journal, if that's something that you're into. And I, I am moving in that direction for this planner in how things are going to be divided. So rather than having my divider tabs be all the months, I'm going to separate my monthly from my to-do lists, from my weekly layout. And then I'll have a section in the back for all of the extras. So let's actually see how this is going to play out. So I'm going to remove the stickers out of here. I'm not gonna leave them in here because they're taking up space and I don't need them off the get off the get-go. And I probably don't need all 12 months of the monthlies, but I'm going to go ahead and leave them here. I went ahead and labeled the four dividers that come with. So this is, it's monthlies, and then you get four really nice sturdy plastic dividers. And then the back section is all lined notebook paper. That's the, the notes part of the happy plans and notes. So what I'm going to do is just to start freeing up some space, I'm gonna go in and remove all of the notebook paper. A lot of it's gonna go back in once I get all my categories set up. But for now, we're, we wanna get this as naked as possible. And my recommendation to you is 
if you are redoing your Franken planner or your planner, or you are starting from scratch, I have found that it's easier to just take everything out and start all over again with just the planner cover and the discs. Just get back to basics so that you've got just an empty space for rebuilding everything. So I've taken out all the notebook paper. Are you following with me so far? So we've got the happy plans and notes. This little piece of paper was originally this way and it's white so that this shows up a little bit better down here. So we can just leave that for now, for now. The perpetual calendar at the front is not dated. You see, it does have the days of the month going down, but there are no days assigned to it. And I'm going to want to use a dated, and I think I'll use the one I've been using from my teacher planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the perpetual calendar, and save that for a rainy day. I'll take that out. So now we just have our monthlies and the monthly section I am calling, I am calling it the calendar section. So my monthlies are in the calendar section and I use the monthlies in my social media business planner for planning out my content. And I don't think I have my, no, my planner's in the other room, but what I do is I write down on a post-it all the different, or each post-it will get um, a video idea or a piece of content. And I basically move all the post-its around until I can configure a layout that, or not a layout, a, a posting schedule that works for me. So this is not something that you will see before the pen on social media over on Instagram, but I might post occasional after the pens of this once it's all filled out with what content I posted and then I've kind of add flourishes and decor around it. So that is my monthly. The next section in this planner is the task section. And this is where things are gonna get a little bit more complicated. The items or the planning pages that I wanna use in my tasks section, I'm gonna move this out of the way, are coming from the Hustle and Heart extension pack. I put all the hustle and heart and girl with goals and a few other extension packs on this bad boy on discs so I can just flip through them easily. And what I'm going to do, I, I've done this already with just over a month's worth of pages, but I'm going to show you how I did it so that you guys can see what the, uh, what the system looks like. So here, let me just go to a fresh. So this is the hustle and heart extension pack. And I don't need the monthly pages because I'm using the monthlies from the plans and notes. So we skip over that. This to me is like the meat and potatoes of the extension pack. I love the goal setting page here and then the top priority list for the month here. So this is monthly. Then we get into the weekly layout, which, or not weekly layout, the weekly task lists. And you've got things to follow up on for the week of and then just a long task list for the week. And then it goes into the weekly layout, which is an hourly layout. I've been using the hourly layout for the past like month or so. I don't like it personally for what I'm using it for. And so this is not what I wanna use for my weeklies. However, for my tasks, I want this. So what I did was, I'll do this just to show you, what I did was I glued together, Paper and Pen Girl's probably rolling over in her sleep right now. I glued together the hourly layout so that there would be a seamless transition between the weekly task sheets. And some I did better than others. It is kind of tricky to get pages together. So, by gluing the two hourly pages together, we go directly from a week's task lists to the next week's task lists. So, and since I've already done this, I'm gonna, well, I'll set this aside. So, ugh, we go back to this guy. We've got our monthly calendar. Now we're gonna go to 
the tasks sec section. And this is where I'm going to put all of the glued together task sheets from the Hustle and Heart extension pack. And I can also do something similar with the Girl with Goals extension pack. So when I flip to tasks, I have just the monthly and then I have weekly. So there's like week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. How many weeks did I do? Week six. And then it just, it'll just keep going. So I've taken out all of the follow-up task list sheets from the Hustle and Heart extension pack, glued the hourly pages together so that this whole section is just tasks, weekly tasks. For the weekly divider, I'm going to use the um, teacher planner. And I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, I love this layout. I love this layout and when I switched my catch-all to the fitness planner, I basically eliminated this from my, my um, planner lineup and I love this layout. And so I thought, well, I still have the teacher planner. I still love the teacher planner. This is a teacher planner that starts in August and ends in July and I wanna keep using it. So we're gonna continue this in my lineup by using these weeklies in the weekly section. So I'm just gonna grab, this is what this guy looks like. This is teacher planner. It's like $6 on the Happy Planner website, by the way. And it still has more than six months to go. So if you like this layout, you might wanna get it while it's on sale. And so we're gonna grab the weekly layout from the teacher planner and throw that in the weekly section. So this is kind of a nod to like bullet journal setups where you've got your kind of year at a glance and monthly at the front and then you get into the weekly and then you have like collection pages. We're kind of following that, that system. And then here we have the weekly. The track section is where I'm gonna create bullet journal style trackers for various things pertaining to social media. They're gonna go in this section. I also have, if I can find it, the teacher planner has these uh, like classroom list pages and I've been using them to track different pieces of information. So I'm gonna throw in, try to do this without revealing too much, but I'm gonna grab this uh, tracker page or two and throw it in the track section for social media tracking. And any other Bujo trackers that I want for social media will go here. So let's go back to the beginning and we will need like a welcome page or something. So we've got our calendar pages and the calendar section is all of our monthlies. In order to know exactly what month we're going into, I don't need to see January, February, March, April, May. I don't, I don't really love seeing those divider tabs. I like task related tabs. So I made some bookmark type things from the snap in covers or snap in sticker sheet protectors or something like that. Um, they came out, I think in the spring launch of last year and they're really great because they're pre-punched. They're a nice thick plastic. It fits perfectly a sticker sheet, which of course, when I need a sticker sheet, I don't, I don't have a loose one here, but you can put stickers in it. You can put decorative pages in it. And then I just added a Avery like binder tab, divider tab on here and I labeled it um, this week, today, and this month. So for the current month, and I'll, I'm gonna, I'll use these as long as I feel like it. I might you know, get new dashboards and dividers in which case I'll change these out. So, but the point really is to show that I'm going to use top dividers to tell me where I currently am working from. So we've added this month, so this will be for the current month. Then in the task section, those are my monthlies. This is the current week's task section. So I'm gonna put this in and this will be for this week. 
And then in my weekly section for the current week, I will put in this one that says today. So rather than having a traditional planner where you've got every element for that month in one divided section, you got the divider for January and it has your monthly and your weekly all together. I was finding that with my social media planning, I wanted to use the task sheets for my to-dos and then my weekly really wasn't used for planning. I wasn't using my weekly layout to plan what I was doing. I wasn't putting my tasks in my weekly. I was keeping a running to-do list of my tasks and that's why I'm separating it out. That way, my weekly can be used for tracking stuff, journaling. I can write, you know, I got happy mail today or this is what I said in my morning musings over on Instagram or um, this is how many subscribers I have today and I can make it decorative and as pretty as I want. So I'm really turning my weekly layout into more of a memory keeper log of what is going on in this area of my life. And I am keeping the tasks themselves on this kind of running task list and like highlighted task list over here. So let me go back and show you one more time before we get into the next section. So again, we have the calendar section is the monthlies. And if I want to go to the, if I just want to go to the calendar section, I can pull this. But if I want to go to the current month, I'll just pull the top tab. Then if I want to go to like the home base of my tab or my tasks, I can pull this or I can just go to this week. What do I need to accomplish this week? And I'll pull the this week tab. And then if I'm just looking at making a log for the day or I'm decorating or whatever, I just can go to my weekly. I can go to today and pull the tab for today. And then the tracker section again will just be where I'm just tracking various pieces of information pertaining to social media in, in that last section. So are you guys with me so far? So that is the first, and I, I don't love this white sheet. I think what we'll end up, oh, I forgot. What we need to do is I need to find a, I think I, I need to find the perpetual calendar from this guy. And maybe it'll have the hello page because that's what we need. We need to make sure that we are welcoming me to my homepage. We'll, we'll get back to that. But I do want to have a perpetual calendar here at the front and a welcome home page. I could always just take this out too and it just kind of goes from there to there. But I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. Okay, so like if you haven't seen my catch all Franken planner setup video, please check that out because I think that will also explain or reiterate the system that is about to happen here. So I like having these decorative tabs down here in the front section or the top section of my planner. Very much so. But I also like to have clear divider tabs in the back of my planner for miscellaneous notes, finance, budget, etc. So let me grab those. I've got a nice set of these dividers. And I don't know if I said this in my catch all Franken planner video, but I have two sets of these. One of them I picked up at cloth or from cloth and paper. The other I got from Fancy Plans Co. And I checked today, Fancy Plans Co. is sold out. And uh, cloth and paper does still have these in stock. So that is very, very nice. And I know that I'm using these on the frosted section, but I actually just prefer that to the, the shiny section. So what I'm going to do is see, I'm going to see this front section with these four dividers as like my meat and potatoes. Okay. This is the meat and potatoes of social media content. Okay. And in the second portion of it, in the back half, I created, now this is an old, an old dashboard that I doused with acetone nail polish remover to make it clear. It's seen better days. This one I had a difficult time with and it's old and you can tell it's super ugly, but I labeled this one nuts and bolts 
and I'm gonna throw this at the very back right here. So when I'm looking at the front of my planner, oh, I should have done that a little bit more carefully. So I'm looking at my planner, I see this month, this week, today, and then nuts and bolts. And if I open this up and I go straight to the nuts and bolts section, it is going to take me to like the second world of my planner, a whole new world. So we have the meat and potatoes for content planning in the front. Then we pull the nuts and bolts tab and it takes me to these bad mama jamas. And I think these are, yeah, these are already labeled. This top one is not because I'm just not sure what I want to use it for yet. So we're just going to leave it, leave it as so. This one says notes. Hope you, hopefully you can see that all right. And pop this guy in. This one says goals. This one says ideas. I think I wanted this one to be brain dump, but brain dump wasn't gonna fit on the tab. So ideas is like my brain dump section. This one says collabs. I would have put partnerships, but partnerships also would not have fit on the tab. And that's just where I'm going to print out like email correspondence or contracts or whatever pertaining to EJ Joyful Plan stuff. So that's collabs. And then the last section is going to be finance. And from this point, let's start from the back and move forward. So like my catch-all setup planner, I used the bottom tab as a way to mark where I'm okay with starting top tabs over again. And I've, I've already said I'm not a huge fan of like paper dividers, monthly dividers, but I see their usefulness when it comes to Franken planning and it's a secondary planner that I am adding to my Franken planner. So as an example, I want to use, let me pull this guy out. I want to use the budget. Ooh, I must have some daily, lots of dailies in here. I want to use the budget extension pack. And so see how these tabs are, they're unmarked. They're, they're undated basically. I'm gonna grab the top one, the top tab, which will be for January. And I'm going to add that here. So when I get to my finance section, the last of the, the clear dividers, I feel comfortable flipping this one and it opening to a whole new world of paper divider tabs. I don't know, I hope that this makes sense to you guys. I just didn't want a paper divider like this randomly in the middle of my planner blocking everything else. So my recommendation to you, if you are Franken planning and you're using divider tabs like this and you're using multiple planners, I would think strategically about the placement of your second planner and consider putting it in the back behind clear tabs like this if you're doing a setup like this. So my finance section now has a month's worth of the budget planner. Really don't know how I'm going to use this, but I did purchase this from the Happy Planner website because I liked that it was undated, I liked that it was neutral, and I liked the idea of tracking income and so-so liked the idea of keeping track of my stationary-related purchases. Your girl needs to know what's going on. I do have an allowance for these things, but I really do want to pay attention to where my money's going. And so I really liked these weekly expense sheets. I might change some of the labels or the, the column headers. Like this says need and want. I might change that to something else, something else I want to track about the expense. But I just thought this was a nice extension pack to throw in. And they were doing a, um, I think this was probably during the, uh, Oh, what was it? Was it the Black Cyber Cyber Week deal? Um, I went ahead and picked up the budget pack. So my finance section will be frank and planned, and I will be adding the budget extension pack back here. The collab section, I already said I'm going to be putting printouts of emails and stuff. I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't want you to see my private emails. So we're going to skip over that. The ideas section needs paper. 
So the paper that I just pulled out from the notebook, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a stack of that. Maybe not that much, because I think we're gonna split it between sections. So here's the idea section, and I'm gonna grab the paper from the Happy Plans and Notes. So that will be my idea section. The goal section, hmm. The goal section, I want to use, let's see if I can find, let's see. I want to use some dot grid paper and let me pull this guy out. So I have a couple happy plans and notes where I got my plain dot grid filler paper. There are a couple happy plans and notes where half of the notebook is plain dot grid and then the other half has like journaling doodles on it like this. So this one had a yellow cover on it and this one was like a colorful leopard and it said wild and free and there's all kinds of like fun like journaling type prompts and stuff. I'm going to put this dot grid related paper in the goals section just as, I don't know, a creative space for me to, I don't know, vision board or map things out. If I have some goals, I can like break them up with this layout or something like that. So I'm just going to throw the paper in there. I don't know what I will or won't use, but we're going to set it there and maybe some of this um, specialty paper, filler paper will get me pumped. So we'll put that in the goal section. The notes section, let's go ahead and add more lined paper. And in case you're wondering what's the difference between notes and ideas, I do have meetings. And so notes would work for my meetings. Ideas really are brain dump. Like if I have a business idea, I'm gonna write it down here. So it's, it's all my big ideas here. And then notes is really just notes where I'm not, I don't have a light bulb moment. I just need to write something down. This first tab, honestly, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe my goals, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe my goal should be the top one so that it's something that I'm kind of facing. Or maybe this is, maybe this becomes my, hmm, like my word of the year. I'm not sure what this will be. But I kind of like the idea of pulling the nuts and bolts section and there being something underneath here that is speaking to me through the plastic. Do you know what I mean? I flip, the, flip to the section and then there's maybe my one little word or something decorative here. And maybe this just acts as a protector of the specialty page, decorative one little word page. I think that's what I'll do. So this will just be functionally a sheet protector. Okay, so do we wanna do anything else? Do we wanna do anything else? Let me, let me flip through this one more time. I think I wanna add, we gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my perpetual calendar. I'm not quite sure yet, so why don't we go ahead and add the perpetual calendar back in. And I'm gonna add this to the front of the calendar section. It doesn't need to be separate from the months, in my opinion, because now I know when I pull to the calendar section, it, I will be in the perpetual. And then if I go to this month, it will take me to the most current month. So I think that's gonna be good. The one thing missing that I always like to add is a pocket folder. Do I want to add a pocket folder on here? Or, cause I have, where are they? I have social media icons that I love to keep nearby. And here, let me show you. See this, this is a, a happy planner cover and I've got these social media icons in a little pocket folder. So do I want to put a folder, if I do this, then I will need to put a sheet in the front so that do, that doesn't show up underneath from underneath. Hmm. 
Let me think about this for a second. How full does it feel? Hold on. We're really setting up here. So I need to like figure out if I'm feeling good. Oh, and I definitely don't want this to be shining underneath it, from underneath it. So I need, wasn't there a piece of paper in the front and the back? Let me see if I can find that piece of paper. All right, so here's the piece of paper. For now, actually, I'm going to put this here like so. So when this, good, that's a lot more private. And I need, I need the other sheet of paper. I'm pretty sure there was one for the front and one for the back. But now, now I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it over here. Mm, that's a pink one. I don't want the pink one. Let's see. Okay, I can't find it. We're going to leave this as is. But I still need to make a decision about if I'm going to put a pocket here on the calendar sheet. Or I could, I could actually put a pocket on the weekly because that's where I'm most likely to use them. Am I gonna regret it though? That's always the question. Do I put a pocket? I think I'm gonna put a pocket on it and hope that if I do regret it, the adhesive doesn't make a huge, huge, huge mess. So let me show you, these are the pockets that I use. And I got them on Amazon. I did uh, put them in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to check these out, you are welcome to do so. And it comes with just all kinds of fun sizes. And this is a pretty small one. That could be pretty low profile. And it would fit the social media icons. Do I do that? But if I ever use icons that are a bigger sheet that would be a problematic but I do like how small that is what do you guys think I could do a bigger one I think I'm gonna do a small one mm -hmm. I don't know but would I rather have them like inside like that like so <sighs> decisions I really don't know what to do well uh oh YouTube sticker down YouTube sticker down. Okay, got it. I am going to go ahead and go with a small one just because I have a lot of the small ones and I can always lift it up if I change my mind. So I'm going to put this kind of right in the center of the weekly tab. So see that? Just made a little pocket and I'm going to flatten that and I'm going to throw these in here like so. Do I want to do that? Do I want to put in another pocket? Because here's the thing. I've got other social media related stickers. Like I've got these stickers from uh, a shop in uh, Australia. I did these custom like morning musing checklist stickers. So I've got those. I got some happy mail stickers. More, more Instagram YouTube stickers. So I could um, add the extras to, hmm, maybe the task one. Let's see if the small fits again. Wouldn't that be interesting? Because then I would know that there are other, I think I could do it. I'm going to go ahead and add one more and I'm going to add it to the task, task divider. And then if I ever want to take these off, I can always just use like Goo Gone or something like that. So I'm going to add the a Happy Mail, if I can get this, there we go, Happy Mail, and the Instagram and YouTube. Yep. Okay. 
I think we are almost set. Do I feel like it's too full though? I might want to take out some. I think I'm going to take out some of the dot grid. Maybe these ones, the uh, colorful leopard ones. And I don't know, I kind of think that's kind of fun. And I like that paper a lot. So I'll leave that. And I'm gonna take out a little bit of paper from the notes and the notes and ideas section. Okay, because I want to make sure I have room for the printouts for the collab section. And of course, anything else I decide to add to the back. So I think we are done for, oh, the perpetual. No, we already have the pe perpetual calendar. Okay, let's do a full flip through. Oh my gosh, I hope this works for me. So never give up on your dreams. This is the, what is Elizabeth doing with her life planner? <laughs> so in the calendar section, I've got my perpetual calendar and all the monthlies that I will use for planning out content. Then for my tasks, I can flip to the task section and I've got all kinds of task lists. Uh, one layout is a week worth of tasks and I can always just pull the this week tab to go to the current week. This is from the Hustle and Heart extension pack. If I want to go to the weekly layout, which will be used for journaling and logging what I posted and, you know, various bits of info or cool things that happened or happy mail, that is going to be in my weekly section, which is the teacher layout. And I can pull the today tab up at the top to get me to the current week. And then the last section is the track section where I'll put various, I don't know, trackers for my journey social media journey. Then if I'm like, all right, that was the meat and potatoes. Let's get into the nuts and bolts. Then I can pull the nuts and bolts section and it opens up a whole new category of, of planners, notes, whatever. I've got an open section that will just be for whatever I want it to be. It'll probably, probably be something decorative. I've got a notes section, goals, ideas, collabs, and finance and the finance tab. When I pull the finance tab, it will take me to the budget extension pack. I also have budget filler paper that I picked up when I when I bought this and I can also just stuff that in the back if I want to. So that my friends is my, what is Elizabeth doing with her life? Oh, and then we added a couple pockets on the task divider tab and on the weekly tab for different icons. I will probably also add decorative dashboards underneath these so that you don't just see like the back of a calendar. So you can expect that to happen. I will do that for any of them that seem, well, any of the clear ones. So would that would be the weekly one. And then in the nuts and bolts section, I will put probably, I'll make some sort of decorative dashboard to go out the front so that there's something pretty to open up to. We have like a landing page, if you will. When you pull each tab, I want there to be a landing page. So that, my friends, is, is it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them. To be honest, I am... Make, I'm, I'm not making this up as I go. I mean, I have an idea in my head and I know the way that my brain works. And so I, I have a bit of an inclination or an idea for how this is going to work. But yeah, I'm, I am no expert. I just try to make more sense of my cluttered mind. So we will see how long this lasts for me. I wonder if at some point I will add deluxe discs and a cover or maybe I'll want to change out the color of the divider tabs or I'll want to put in new bookmarks or, or dashboards up here. Who knows? But for now, this is exactly what I need to get started in January. I think I have to call it a video or I'm just going to keep talking about this. Ah, I'm so nervous about it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm sure it's going to be great. Let me add, actually, I don't know 
where a blank piece of paper is. But for now, I'm just gonna add this here so we can see some. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It looks like pinstripes. Maybe I'll just do that. Leave a piece of lined paper there. All right, friends, <laughs> come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. Follow me over there so that you can see how this kind of lives out in my day to day and you can see my decorated spreads and I chat a lot in my stories just about life. So come share life with me over there. Um, if you want to hang out with me again here on YouTube, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Lots of cool things coming in 2022 I am praying for and I am praying for that for you as well. Until next time, friend, God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.